Hey guys, Mr. Hydro Hack here back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, LED door sills. <laughs> I've got them there, I've got the Golf R ones. Uh, they don't come to the size you want. They're made, they're made for the 3 door version, but I got it cut down for me, so it fits this one now. My cent Mine was 45 centimeters by 3 centimeters or something. So they go here. What well, first thing you want to do is clean it, clean your door sill. We're using that all, but you should use a what do you call it? You should try to use a rubbing alcohol if you have it, but we don't have it, so just clean the surface. And you want to get this, uh, you want to pull this up as well, the rubber grommet, and then you're gonna wire it into the door sill, the forward lights. I mean, that's where it's going to the power from. I'll show you the thing now. Okay, so G. Guys, let me show you my door sills now. So, these are the door sills. Take them out. Oh, shit. Got free keyring with it. As you can see, Golf R. So this lights up white. You can get in blue or red as well. You've got 3M tape on the back that you take off and there's the wiring. So what you'll need for this install is the door sill, obviously. Uh, some cleaning agents. You'll need a wire stripper slash uh, cl uh, crimper, electrical tape just to tidy things up, uh, multimeter to find out your positive and negative digs, and then you got some uh, crimping tools, splicing tools. I mean, you need some of them as well. And I've never done this before, so hopefully we'll be able to do it. So yeah, so I'm gonna figure out which one is which sill is right for this side. So basically, it should be facing with the R towards this way and then the wire should be going that way so it'll either be this one or that one so whichever one it is I'm going to put it on this one and then the opposite one's on the other end I'm just going to show you how you I'm going to show you how to install it on this side first so what you're going to do is clean it and then uh, put it out here so you can see how it looks and stuff and get the right position and guys what I've done is uh, take off the plastic trim and you just pull it up and then you take a screw out here to take off this side so now you've got the covering this far and then you take off the weatherproof, you just lift this up, it comes out, it's simple as that. I've got some cellar tape there for my uh, dash cam, so I'll sort that out later. And yeah. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, I might take this, I'm going to take this, I've took this screw out here. So then I can pull this out and then I can look where the wire for this is and find the 12 volts. Alright, you want to... Get your wire out and then get your multimeter and check uh, which one's positive and negative. The way you do that is uh, you might have to splice it, I'm not too sure. Let me have a look. You might have to splice it first. Let's see how long this cable is. And then uh, what you want to do is get your red wire, put it into vault and then check which one comes up with the. Uh, you want to put the black wire to any sort of metal. And then uh, we'll come up with 12 volts for the positive and the negative will be uh, zero. Hi right, guys, once you cleaned it, you want to get the 3M tape off and then put it in line with however you feel like, wherever you feel the middle is. I'll probably put it there around this. And you want the wire exposed. Looks are nice. Okay guys, you want to stick it down for a bit. Like hold on to it while it's stuck. Uh, heat it up if you want, it will help it glue better. And just pull, peel this off. Looks very nice. Make sure you leave enough so the wire can come through. Also, I forgot to tell you, because this is quite short and you need to reach all the way up here, which you won't. It'll be stuck about here ish. You need some more wire yourself. So make sure you buy some wire. That's not stuck on top of you. They're gonna need to let that sit for a bit more. Should be done pretty much. You can always polish it afterwards, like uh, wipe it. But yeah, that looks pretty nice. Got a golf there. Got the line there. So light up white when he's biding. I have to figure out which one's positive, which one's negative. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try to do that myself now. 
Alright guys, we figured out the red volt, red wire is 12 volts. So what I did was use the black wire. You put it on the ground, which is that. Just any piece of metal. Which is that, and then the red, red one. You have connectors in here. Like gold bits. So you use that to check which wire it is. So mine's red one. So red is 12 and black is... I mean, not black, brown is ground or whatever. So we're going to do the same wiring with this. Black to... Red to black, black to brown, it is, yeah. And then it should be done. Um, what I'm going to use is a slice splicing tool. I'm going to splice it first to this wire. So I got the extended wire. I need to see how long this goes first. Then figure out how I'm going to do it. Guys, we've got the splice connectors ready. So these are the splice connectors. So one end you plug into your wire and then the other end goes into your normal wire. And then you push over together. That's what we're going to do. Alright guys, we're going to splice into that now. Now you have the connector. So you got the metal bit there, you want to splice into this. So what you do is put it between the wire, like that. And then cut it out a bit like that. And then put it right between the middle. Middle of the two wires. And then. So what you're going to do with this end is, you're going to put the wire through there. And then stick it on, it just clips in like that. So you want to put your extended wire in there. So I'm going to use my red, no, black in, so I'll use green wire. And then the green wire you're going to splice to this as well. This black. Okay. okay, you want to use your wiring to cut off some wire and then to strip it, you just hold it like that and then strip it, pull it off. Now you got some stripped wires. This is just a random wire. Now put it through here. So it makes a connection with that. Then you want to crimp it in place using the crimping tool. So you got different size crimps there. You want to use the one that's good for you. I think this bottom one will be alright. Let's just freeze it. So hard. I've not done this before guys, so you might have to bear with me. So just use that. I don't know if I'll cut you off. It's very difficult guys. You can have one hand. I'm yeah, right hand, you I'm right handed anyway. You got two hands. Huh? No, I'm an alien. Oh, hi alien, I'm not with you. So what the crimping do, the tool does is holds in place. It's not the best crimp we'll, we'll do, I think. Let's have a look. No, a bit more crimping, I think. Alright guys. I've decided to I've decided to scrap most of what I just did because I found an easier way. It's more convenient. Just use some posi tops. Literally, that's all you need. This black wire is not very secure. It is secure, but it's not very weatherproof. But yeah, that'll fit in the holes there. So what you can do is use this side to connect, tap into these wires. So now I just have to remember. Uh, I've not come back to the car in a while, so. Now I have to remember which wire was which, so that's what I'm going to test again. Or I'll have to watch back the video or something. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll show you. It should, I'll show you it working, it should work. I'm actually wiring it from the inside of the car at the moment, which is very good. So, because last time it shot it out because the bulb was on, because the door was open. So now the bulb's off, because the door's closed. It shouldn't shot out, hopefully. So let's hope it does work. And this time I'm using posi taps. I'm going to use a mix of both, actually. Because that one's still working fine. Or is it? I can't remember. I might have to pause it up. I'll have to check it. Okay, let me check. Is this connection good? No, this is a good connection. Okay, it's this end. This end I'm going to use pause it up. And then that one, the red wire, I'm going to pause it up here as well, which will be black, I think. Not 100% sure. We'll have to check it and sort it out. Alright, okay, guys. Alright, okay, guys. So we set up now. As you can see, uh, red goes to red. Green goes to the green wire, which is the also the black wire on this. So black goes to bl uh, brown on there, which is the ground. And red goes to red, simple as that. And uh, I am going to clean it up. I'm just showing you now. I'm testing it out as well. So yeah, hopefully I've not blown anything. So what I'm going to do is open the car door. Hopefully it should work. I'm going to take my flash off just in case it does work.
maybe I've blown the fuse again. Hopefully not. I'll come back in a day, see what happens. He might come back. Who knows? That's what he tends to do anyway. Let me check if my dome lights are working still. Yep, it's shot it out again. God damn it. Please. Yeah, it's not working. No, no. Wait, what's supposed to light? That'll come up. The golf outing. There. How did you turn this on? I can't see. Yalla, yalla, no, like a mahal. Yeah, what the fuck? There you go. This thing here. Can you see that? Golf off? Yeah. That's a boy in it. Shit. Oh, look at that. I don't know how well you can see it. But I've fucking done it, lads. Can you see it glowing? Oh, I want to show you. Oh, I'm going to actually show you. Oh, there you go. Can you see it? Glowing. It's fucking working, lads. It's working, lads. Alright, so the issue was... I was trying to cut into this, but it's not actually... It needs to be more spliced up. Can you see? The splice is not thick enough to get through that. And I tried manually cutting it myself, but it's very hard. It's not worth doing it. I just took it straight out the LED bulb itself. It's fused up anyway, so so if that goes out, that goes out too with it. So finally, I fucking sorted it. So now I'm gonna have to run some wire again. All this fucking wire again. I'm have to run around, put it through here, get it sorted. Okay, so since we tapped into the bottom wires now, it's the red and black is the power, and the red is the uh, ground. So it just goes corresponding to that wire. It goes straight down like that. As you can see it's working at the moment i'll show you what it looks like at night first thing i'm going to do is actually uh, rewire the first one up uh, the reason i directly wired it because i was just checking that the door seals do actually work but it turns out to be the fucking wire there it's too thick you just won't cut through it so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to shove this on myself uh, i'm going to put run wire up here all the way up here like i showed you before how you connect the wires up and shit the, how, that connection I had before, that's how I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to hide, every, hide everything in there. Underneath underneath this carpet thing here. And then close everything back up. And then do the same on the other side. Then I will show you what it looks like at night, lads. Sexy dies, lads. Look how sexy that is, lads. Oh my god. Look at it glowing. Alright guys, this is what it looks like at night. Ready guys? Oh, wow. It is raining outside, and then it fades in and out. Ooh. Yeah, that looks sexy as fuck. Yes. Alright guys, don't be scared to start again like I did. And if you can find a better way to do it, then do it like that. Because uh, first off, I started off with them uh, normal wire taps, and then switched over to the posi taps. Posi taps are miles better, but they're expensive. Was worth it because it's a lasting connection and you can reuse it and they're very easy to sit up you don't need any tools for that literally you could just splice in like that so yeah i recommend using posi tops they do come mainly from america but you can get chinese ones but yeah i prefer the american ones because i've had some chinese ones they just don't like connection well it's because they don't puncture well I'm just eating these crisps yeah but yeah uh I'd say that was successful. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. And uh, I'm not really going to show you that. Because it's basically the same process. So I'll just save you time with that. All you're doing is taking off. Widening up to that. And then hiding the wires under the sill again. Then putting back the thing on. And 3M in it. And the last bit I'd say is. Put some tape over the wiring. On the outside bit. That's about it. After that you're pretty much sorted. Yeah, I gotta recommend these crisps. Guys. These are fucking amazing. Uh, I'll do more uh, car videos. Let me know what you want me to do. I've got some more stuff coming, so you'll be seeing them soon as well. And uh, I couldn't really finish off the wiring of my car.
for the LED sills. Like uh, tidying up and stuff because it started raining again. That's the whole problem I've had. The past three weeks it's been raining every day. And the chance I get to do it solely for two hours or something. That's how that's how I've been working on it. Otherwise I could have finished this a long time ago. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, tell me what you think about the door sills. Uh, thank, uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.